Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today is more Okami. We left off last time with starting to explore Saiyan City. A city full of mysterious fog that's making everybody sick. Plus, I've noticed some weird little, um, Amogus drawings on a bunch of the walls that I totally did not put there. Yep, dog day's here. Yeah, we're loading back in. We're continuing to see what's going on with this city and the weird fog surrounding it. There are no Amogus drawings in here, luckily. Just this priestess lady. She's missing her scrolls or something that she needs. Come on, tell us what you want. It doesn't matter, just forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your powers. Without my prayer slips, there's nothing anyone can do. Hi, Doom. Good to see you again. She needs her prayer slips, but wonder where they are. Yeah, that's all she will say is, I need prayer slips. Other than that, I can't do anything. Without those, I can't do anything. Are you of any help? We're Queen Himiko's bodyguards. She's in her pals at the moment, praying for the city. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her. And I take orders seriously, so that means you too, Mutt. Okay. What about you? No, you're not talking to me, are you? It's just the one on the right. You can see the curse zone stretching out before you. The whole city is engulfed in a sinister air. I noticed. Don't let lay a finger on Queen Himiko. No, we guards won't let any evil get the better of us. Bah, Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. You can't just attack anyone. You're a god, after all. Let's just leave him alone. Yeah, probably good advice Isun has for once. And, um, guys, how exactly are you supposed to um, protect somebody from fog? Doesn't that get everywhere? Yes, we know. Yeah, so obviously can't get past them. Where would her prayer slips be hiding? haven't been in here before. Hey, open the chest. How am I? I'm doing good. How are you, Doom? New people to talk to. You better not bite them. Mumble, mumble. I wonder what's wrong with the Emperor. His illness must be the cause of his strange behavior. Oh, what a sweet little doggy. Maybe you could lend an ear to that poor husband of mine. He's been so troubled lately, he'd talk to anyone. If this is him, I already talked to him just now. Oh, you're good, Doom? Just a little tired? Good, glad you're doing good. Hmm, is this all there is in here? I mean, I guess... All they're really saying is that the Emperor's been acting odd. I'm not surprised. Anybody know where any prayer slips might live? I already talked to them. They're of no use right now. She won't do anything because she says she can't without prayer slips.
Pepper says hi. Nest, you gave him pets for me? Oh, cool. Hi to your pupper. Whoop, get out of there. And thanks for giving him pets for me. If I were a prayer slip, where would I hide? Look at all these books and scrolls. I can't read any of this stuff, but it sure looks impressive. Are the prayer slips lost in here somewhere? No, they wouldn't be. That would be too easy. Hi, is anybody hiding prayer slips? I need to talk to everybody in line. I think I already did. I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. We need to say, see the lovely Rouse soon. Listening to Rouse sermons make me feel better in an instant. She'll probably come up with a way to get rid of this mist soon, too. Have you been to Enkoku Temple? It's really something, just like Rao herself. She's so lucky, always looking so beautiful and young. Rao always comes in the city to help us out when she can. Queen Himiko's not lifting a finger at the moment. As long as we've got Rao, we don't need anyone else. She's absolutely stunning as well, you know. Yeah, I believe I've talked to you too, haven't I? Yeah, this is the lecture hall where the regent, Miss Rao, gives her sermons. Look at your turn if you go to the end of the line and wait. Come to see Miss Rao, have you, pup? Then you'd better get in line like the rest of them. Nah, I, I don't do lines. Now that doesn't open. I've come to realize how foolish my obsession with swords is. But fishing? Now that's a most worthy pursuit. Okay, that's no help with that. Can I go back here to deal with finding the prayer slips? Maybe. I'd heard rumors before that Queen Himiko's holy power was incredible. Surely this can't be her doing. I can't have my journey end like this. I won't let it get the better of me. Miss Rao really is an incredible person. She's actually head of Ankoku Temple on the edge of Ryoshima. But Queen Himiko commanded that she come here to serve as regent. I wonder what's going on with Queen Himiko at the moment. I really need her support at a time like this. I don't know. Something tells me she's in on this. Strange illness in her midst and the water dragon going mad. It's at times like this we need Queen Himiko's support. I just don't understand why she won't come out of the palace. Maybe because she doesn't want to? I'm sure she must be in there praying for us or something. She's our ruler, so I shouldn't really question what she's doing. Um, just because she's your ruler doesn't mean you shouldn't question anything. Who knows what she's really up to? You know, you know, I understand not wanting to think about that. You know, wanting your ruler to, I guess, be a good person and have your best interests at heart. But yeah, things seem pretty suspicious around here. I just assumed the mist would clear sooner or later. It's getting thicker and thicker. Don't let it get the better of me, though. I've got spirit, I have. This gloomy mist can't stop me. I'll do what I've got to do, you'll see. Which is? He wouldn't say. The mist thickened again today. I'm sick and tired of spending my days here like this. I wish I could get moving again deliver these letters. I 
I can't bear all this worry and pain anymore. Oh, when will it all be over? What the doom and gloom in the city? Rumors of the water dragon's antics? I can't take much more. Yeah, I'm not getting any clues here. I'm not seeing anything regarding prayer slips. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Yeah, I believe I've talked to you before. Yeah, she's shut herself up in her palace. Yeah, it should be your leader's job to help you get through this, huh? Yeah, I would expect business to be slow right now. That's most of what I've got on me. Wow, that's expensive. Here, have some treasure. Does it have any effect on you, dog? When Queen Himiko hold herself away, this strange mist came. Hmm. And you're not suspicious that this, this has anything to do with her when it appeared after she holed herself up. Hmm. It seems to be making me feel worse and worse every day. Can't muster enough energy to buy medicine. Queen Himiko, where are you in her hour of need? Hmm, hold up in her palace. Nope, I can't get in there without being too nasty. That curse on behind us is sending out all kinds of evil. It's tough work being a guard at a time like this. I'd give anything to quit my job and get out of here. The water dragon has been causing havoc in the sea. You even say that lots of boats have been sunk. So I've got the water dragon up front and the curse zone behind. I just don't know where to turn. Hmm. Hard to tell what to do here. Almighty oh, Google, have you anything to say about what to do with these prayer slip things? Or like to find them, I mean. Okay. So I was, I think, in the right section of the city. I just didn't know where to go to find them. Oh, and those are... There are my Amoguses again. But I swear I did not draw on the walls. So just go back this way. I go back to where I was. Because this is the part of the city where I have to go to find those prayer slips. I was right that I had to go somewhere special to find them, but I wasn't right about where to go. I wasn't sure about what to do. Sorry, I, I, I don't do lines. But 
but I hope the rest of you get to speak with her very soon. Okay, I can't get past them. They're supposed to be... They keep wandering around. There's supposed to be a crack somewhere. Like in a wall somewhere. I went in there and spoke with those people. Whoops, fell in the water. Can, can, can I get out? Um, can I get out? No. Oops. That will go too far into a cursed zone. There's got to be somewhere over here. Supposedly, where there's a crack in a wall, I think, to blow open with a bomb. To be able to get the prayer slips that we need. This is a really cool looking Zen garden -y area, but nope, I don't see any cracks. I see something to dig at, though. Dig. That is going to be too cursed to go into. Don't want to fall in the water again. This too cursed. Looks like it. Yes. They're certainly doing a good job of hiding where I'm supposed to go to find these prayer slips, aren't they? That's totally cursed. Oh, I guess, oh, I'm looking for one of those, like, glowing cracks that, where you are supposed to put a bomb in order to progress, but it's not an obvious thing, I guess.
Wake up. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Matarasu. It's taking me a bit to actually find these things. Yeah, I bet the city could be really pretty when it gets uncursed. It's just kind of creepy right now. Or more of a kind of creepy. Yeah, definitely seems like the fog is coming from in here. Psst. Psst, can you hear me? What? We're supposed to be on duty. Well, it's just, I want to ask you something. Um, what's your opinion of His Highness? What do you mean? Surely you're not doubting the worth of our honorable emperor. True, he's had to take to his bed because of this strange illness. I'm full of hope that he'll soon make a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course. There's something about his strange illness that bothers me. Swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary, don't you think? Well, the Emperor took ill, it started to come from his room. And then before we knew it, it had taken over the whole city. People were really starting to suffer from it, too. Well, don't you think it's all a bit of a coincidence? It's definitely odd, I'll grant you that. It's no use trying to ask His Highness how he feels. He just sends everyone away and he won't even see a doctor. So I don't see that there's anything we can do about it. What about that girl locked up in the cell all alone? She shouldn't be locked up like that. She's done nothing wrong. You mean that girl called Kaguya, right? Hmm. Orders are orders, so we had no choice but to lock her up. I can't quite see why His Highness wanted us to do it. The city's in a real mess ever since he took ill like this. I wonder what's going on inside the palace. You're right to be suspicious, guys, I think. Hmm? Check out these slips of paper. Looks like each one has a spell or something on it. I have no idea how to use them. Don't think they do us much good. Barely certain they're useful, though. Hey, look at that, Ami. There's mist pouring out of that little hole. Too bad you're so big, otherwise we could have checked out this hole. I don't like this palace. Something smells fishy here. Derp. If I would have just explored outside this area without going in here, I would have been at this a while longer. Quite a bit longer and never found these. But I bet these are the prayer slips that she needs. Hey! Thank you! Sill for the follow. No, oh, dig hole. Bead. Stray bead. Can, can I pick up can I pick this up again? Yes. Um, Rao, I've I've got your prayer slips. What have you? My prayer slips. You found them in this huge city. Thank you. They're indispensable in my fight against the evil beings. I was sure one of them had stolen them from me. Thank goodness. Yes, your ability to sniff things out really is a divine power. Your name's Amaterasu, correct, Wolf? Well, Amaterasu, would you put your powers to use for us? Hmm? Are you saying we're the answer to your prayers? I'm saying you are our only hope. As you have seen, Ryoshima Coast is in turmoil. All because of the evil rising from the darkness. Because of the forces of darkness. Forces of darkness? Yes, next to them, the monsters out there in the wild are nothing. They're starting to spread over Ryoshima Coast. And with Queen Himiko confined to her palace, it all falls to me. Normally, I'd use my holy powers to dispel any threat to the city. This foe is too strong for me. So I have no choice but to ask this favor. Lend me your powers. So that means we'd end up helping Himiko after all? I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy to me. 
There are some who think the queen is a coward to shut herself away. But she cares for her subjects. She's praying for her protection. But even she can't calm the water dragon and exorcise the city. Not without that sacred treasure to enhance her holy powers. That's what I want you to help me find. Okay. Nope, no problem. Thought you were already following me, honestly. <laughs> LOL. Well, you're following me now, and I very much appreciate it, Syl. Please, Amaterasu, let me ask you once again. Will you listen to what I have to ask? Yes. Now, oh, what the heck? Let's hear what this stacked babe has to say. Uh, is soon. Stacked? Anyway, when you came here to the city, did you see it? Right off the coast, near the Ryoshima border, there lies a sunken treasure ship, a victim of the water dragon's rampage. Yep, I saw it. I tried to get into it. Couldn't get very far because the entrance inside was cursed. That ship was a trading vessel working between here and abroad. It was transporting a great treasure ordered by Queen Himiko. The water dragon attacked every ship in the water. It sunk the ship and its precious cargo right in front of the port. The fox rods that the queen had finally managed to locate, a matchless treasure with the power to defeat any foe, would have been Saiyan City's no, Nippon's greatest asset. If we had the fox rods now, we'd drive out the evil beings. Matarasu, will you come to the treasure ship with me and help me search its cargo for the fox rods? You want us to do what? You want us to search for treasure on a sunken treasure ship? Well, I'd do anything for a cute babe, but... My boss here says no. Not much I can do. Well, boss, I'm gonna help this busty babe or what? Um, is soon. More respect, please. <laughs> help Brow search for treasure? Yeah. I've always heard this game was a masterpiece. Yeah, it sure seems like it. I mean, I played the original, or at least partway into the original years ago. And wanted to try it again and get all the way through it this time. It's beautiful. I love the art style. Bummer. Well, the boss has spoken. Huh? What was that, Amy? Thank you, Matarasu. You're a true savior. Okay, let's go to the treasure ship right away, then. Although, you must wait a while until the new moon rises in the night sky. In the shallows where the ship ran aground, called the Lunar Lagoon, the tide only recedes when the new moon is seen from the moon turret. When the tide's out, it's easy to get into the treasure ship. We'll meet the ship on the night of the next new moon. Okay, yep. Already found it last time. Okay. So that's why I couldn't get in there. or couldn't go very far in there. I needed you to come with me. Boy, Amy, you seem really eager to help her. Well, I couldn't say no to those two either. We can't let our guard down. I mean, who knows? That busty babe might be Himiko's puppet. And if they're up to no good, then we should get our hands on those... Fox rods before they do. Yeah, I don't know if Rao is in on this or not. I can't tell. I definitely think the queen is suspicious. And the emperor, maybe. So let's go back to that ship. Doing well today? Yeah. How are you, Syl? Hope you're doing well.
Not bad, just drink your morning coffee, okay. Glad to know you're doing well. Yeah, there's the ship. I have to make a moon. That's not all, because I have to go this other, yeah, this turret over here, this little tower thing over here, before I can see the lagoon and get to the ship. It's an interesting mechanic. Yeah, it is, actually. Here we are. Yeah, and I think I have to do a moon again. See, we're viewing the moon from this turret thing here, okay? And... Now... That activates. And we can get to the ship. That is the barrier I could not get past on my own. Whoops, forgot about that door. It's sealed shut with some sort of curse. But this puppy ain't gonna be easy to dispel. Amaterasu. You have busty babe. You're here already, both of you. I'm sorry I'm late. My political duties delayed me. This is the treasure ship you were talking about, babe. Yes. The fox rods Queen Himiko seeks should be here. It was sunk by the water dragon, and now it's filled with monsters. But my holy powers can easily deal with a few dozen monsters. There's nothing to worry about. Let's go in. That's all fine and dandy, babe. But what about this cursed door here? Was it sealed up like that to keep looters out? Or maybe it's the curse of those who died when the water dragon sunk their ship? That thing's just seething with an intensely evil power. So, there's a cursed door to stop anyone from getting through. I see. That's a neat trick. You got that right. We better find another way in. Hmm? It's time we joined forces, Amaterasu. There'll be more barriers sealed by magic as we get further inside. When we come to them, I'll use a prayer slip to break the seal. So if you don't mind...
Yasuo Matarasu. Handling the prayer slips is my affair, but I would like your assistance in targeting. Don't worry, what I ask is not difficult. You know how to manipulate the brush of the gods, I believe? Use that power to guide the prayer slip from my hand to its target. So let's practice on the curse barring the door, shall we? Okay, so from your hand, yeah, from your hand to the door. Fantastic. As long as I have my prayer slips, there's nothing to be afraid of. Not even monsters. Enough practice now. Great treasure awaits. Let's go find the fox rods. Sure. But just a minute. Let's save first. Yep, dog rider. The second time... We've dealt with this sort of a thing. Yes, prayers slip away. Lots of treasure chests. Whoa, just look at those treasure chests. <laughs> We're gonna be millionaires even before we find those fox rods. Okay, we gotta jump down. Cool treasure. Uh oh. Monster. Prayer slip time. Is that just a doll or is that a monster? I think it's just a doll. Oh, there, oh, there's a monster right there. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, can you come back here? Oh. Where'd it go? It disappeared. Ow. Hermit crabs? Did she help with this? No. Now here's one. Maybe she can now. I can see it. That's doing nothing. Also not doing anything. Will a bomb work? Didn't seem to like that, but didn't really do anything to it either.
Now I'm doing damage. Good. I'm gonna try this on you. Does it work? At least now I'm doing damage. He's just boxes. Special arch. A big boss battle is coming, I suspect. Isn't it beautiful? In a ship doomed by the water dragon can enjoy the starlight. It only looks like this inside the ship when there's a new moon. As soon as the sun comes up, cold seawater floods the ship again. Yes, the ship has suffered a cruel fate. It is pretty. What does that do, though? Whoa, check it out! That thing's huge! Looks like a humongous balance scale or something. I wonder what it was used for. It's only got weight on one side. That's what I call an unbalanced balance. Clover? I'm guessing that means we have to put something on the other side. No, it's not letting me cut that. I'll try again. Bow-shaped moon drops tears on the rotting ship. It only looks like this inside the ship when there's a new moon. Yep, we said that before. How do we get up here, though? Or do we draw something on the other side? No, we don't even it out by cutting this. If I knew how to get into that room, that would be nice.
I'd appreciate if you let go of me. And that's just the way back in. Back to where we started. Is there anything we're supposed to do with this? Think there are any alternate exits in here? At least not that I saw. Do I make another moon in the sky? Does that help anything? I don't think so. This is not a hole I can jump into. Nope, it's not letting me. Okay, a moon did nothing, but it's already dark. It's impossible. It can't be daybreak yet. Surely this can't be. You didn't do that. You didn't do this, did you, Amaterasu? Powers can control the very movement of the heavens. hermit crabs, okay? Oh, or a shark. So that's not doing anything to it. It's 
Okay, so now I can hit him. And actually do damage. Jaws has been defeated. Nice try to put spike traps there, but it's not going to stop me from destroying the pots. Now we can use this to get up. Somehow need to unsubmerge things again. Oh, something's grabbing me. Oh, let go. Uh oh. Okay, what but what, what what the hell is that? No thanks. I, I don't wanna be squashed by some I don't know, zombie hand? Oh, 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 nope, 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 no. Okay, 
you. I don't think you can get me up here. No, oh, it's I'm back in the room. No, I can't see through that to trigger it to stop and be night again. kind of have to though to be able to do anything in here. Make this stay, make the water come back for a minute, get back up there, and then undo that, I think, maybe. Somehow without having to fall down into the room. Nope, couldn't quite leap up over there. Back to dealing with the ship zombie. Ow. There's got to be a way to do this so I don't have to fall down into the room. Or maybe there isn't.
There's something I could do with the cannon, though, without actually lowering the water. Hello, zombie friend. Oh. Maybe that was dumb. No, I don't want to play with you. Nope. Bombs will still work here, cool. Looks important. That's an arrow for that monster door, monster lock down there. I'll have to unsubmerge the room in water before I can get it and use it. So there's another purpose, I bet, to that room with the thing in it with the hands. I was just focused on getting away from the hands. I didn't realize there could be anything else in here. Ow. Yeah, there are hooks without a barrel. This is the other... Okay, this is the room on the other side of that. Oh, look, a barrel. And down it goes. No, I, I, I don't want to play with you. Can I hook the hooks to that thing? No. I, I don't want to play with you right now. Do I need to blow the hooks over here? Oh, did I need to use the wind?
Hi, Nap Nap. Welcome to Dog Day. Or shall I say Wolf God Day? How are you? Shout outs. I meant to do shout outs earlier. But at least do one for each of the people I know I've seen. There's one for Doom. One for silhouette and one for nep nep. There, you're okay. You finished the chibi model. Did I see it? Yes, I did. It's adorable. Thank you, nep nep. I don't have, like, I didn't get the VRM out just yet, so that's why I'm not chipified right now. But I was going to do that soon so I could be chippy when I want to. If you change anything, let me know. You know, I'm, I'm happy with it how it is. It turned out really nice. It's really cute. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Because I did peek at it. I did look at it. These chains. How do I put them on this barrel? Do I go back over there? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I do anything to it. Oh, oh, do I just sit on it? I just roll? Okay, here we go. Roll that. Get, get back on. Roll that barrel. Get back on. Balance has been restored. Oh, well, no, th no, no thanks. Well, Mr. Um, zombie, whatever you are, no. I just want to get out of here, okay? Can you let me get out of here? Now this is balance, so now what? What the heck? I already tied a barrel to the balance scale. So why is it still so unbalanced? 
So close, yet so far. Hmm. I wonder, is it time to unsync things again? Yes, I believe it is. So, looking up. Time to bring on the night. Now I'm guessing that thing isn't going to be in here. Or it is, but it's not going to do anything to me right now. I hope. It doesn't seem to be. I think it's asleep. Now we can get to this arrow. Take that weird monster lock. Most important thing to do every time you see anything. Oh, ow! Not a, no, not another monster. Most important thing to do every time you see pots, even though it's not Legend of Zelda, is to just smash them. Because you'll find all sorts of things inside of them money, food. And monsters, apparently, in treasure chests here. Money and a monster. said, let there be water.
That's kind of maybe a sloppy bomb to draw there, but it got it. Can I make it go in the middle? Okay, will it fire soon? Hello? Cannon! Or can only fire when it's underwater for some reason. One more cannonball. Can I get the middle one? Yes. Except how do I get over there? What else is there on this ship? How did I miss the treasure chest? Here's this a respawned monster one. Lucky mallet. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Wait, this is a lucky mallet. Is this what you're looking for, babe? You can shrink people down until they become so small that they can pass through the eye of a needle. Certainly a tool with such powers is a great treasure. It doesn't provide an answer to Queen Himiko's prayers for peace. Hmm. Someone else mentioned an eye of a needle lately. Oh yeah, it was that half-baked prophet Waka back in Seian City. Remember? He said something like, even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. I wonder what kind of place he was talking about. Amaterasu, seems what I was looking for isn't on the ship. Unfortunately, we must leave without it. Aw, oh, cheer up, babe. Notion's a big place. You'll find what you want somewhere. That may be so. But going into the ocean now is suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still about, that is. Sheesh, nobody can shut up about that thing. You'd think the water dragon ruled Ryoshima Coast or something. And let us get our camel full of stuff into heaven? Yeah, maybe. You're talking about that lucky mallet thing. Well, don't forget we have Boss Ami here with us. Let's go think things over back in the city. I'm sick of this ship. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just another respawn monster chest. And so is that.
and the lagoon fills in. Can't you swim any faster, Matarasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? Amy's a wolf, not a speedboat. Oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right? Hehe. <laughs> we don't mind. And there's nothing but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. Go ahead. That's what everyone does. I'm not sure that's what everyone does, but okay. You don't understand. The swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here. Here we go again. Oh no. If it is that, War Dragon was it? If it is, we'll take care of the beast in a jiffy. He'll regret the day it messed with us. What, 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 what the? Jeez, that thing's huge. Where'd that thing come from? Wow, she can walk on water? Is that the water dragon? Look out! Oh no. Um, are, are we supposed to, like, battle this thing now? Or just get back to shore before we, like, die? Huh? Where are we? We're not... Gold. Oh, cruel world, I'm too young and handsome to die. Er, on second thought, maybe we just washed up on the shore. Did you see what attacked us? It was huge. What the heck was it, Amy? Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around here. And what's with that musty babe? She just took off without us. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind next time we meet. Yep, oh, there's the lucky mallet. Hmm? This mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa, I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Amy. Pardon me, excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me. Got a... Mischievous mallet to catch. It's leading us back to the city, I see. Yes? What, what do you want, mallet? Yep, still going back over here. In the beginning of this game, I had to follow an arrow. Now I have to follow a bouncing mallet. But where, where to go? It's not it with me anymore. Will it be here once when I go outside again? Yes. Just didn't want to appear inside. Where are you going? Where do you want me to go? 
go over here. It knows something is suspicious over here. Yes, yes, what what now? What? Oh, over here? Oh, you make things small, don't you? So, let me guess. I get to get really, really small, do the whole honey we shrunk the kids thing, but with a wolf god, and go through the hole, right? Yeah. No, we got you cornered, you, you mallet. No treasures ever escaped from the great Isun. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and... Hmm? Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the palace where that swirling mist is coming from? May I just chase you here for a reason, Mallet? Wait, I think I get it. The lucky Mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink Ami here. Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't ya? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. I mean, this palace has got to be the source of that mist. If Queen Himiko's not going to do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this darn city. How do we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet. Wonder the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered, Ami? <laughs> in, in, in this context, I, I, I guess... Uh-huh. Sure. That's what I wanted to hear. Furball's all yours, Mallet. Hammer away. Yeah, the regular version of getting hammered would do us no good here. But this... This would work. Yep. Honey, I shrunk the wolf god. Ah ha 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 You should see the look on your face. A few shakes of lucky melt reduces things to my size. It's not for clobbering people or anything, silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked like already? Now you listen here, Furball. You better remember me this time, or else. I'm Isun the Wandering Artist. You got it. Times a thousand. That's funny. Now that we're his size. Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome. Who else could it be? Bet you see me in a new light now. No, not really. You're, you're just... You just seem bigger now. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. Well, time's a-wasting. There's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped in chains over there? You can guide me over to it with your celestial brush. I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right here. Yeah, so just like with Rao and her prayer slips. Yep, that's what I thought. Now that's what I'm talking about. Heh <laughs> nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denkamaru. Listen up. I don't want you to get any funny ideas. Maybe one mean sucker, but 
Don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I just might lose it if you did that. You know, to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now that everything's clear, let's get going. Uh, uh, carefully, I presume? We don't want anyone to step on us. Whoa, that was close. Better watch out, Amy. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Better watch or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. And now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this palace. Okay. Gotta be careful and hope no one will step on us out here. And yes, we're saving. Oh no, and spiders are huge to us now. Ugh. Is it attached to a chain? Well, as you already said, don't send him at monsters. See that, Amy? That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers just won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Just watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. And when there's a foot. Do we just jump over this person's foot? Whoa, why do you have to ride? Tired of walking or something? Well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind, so knock yourself out. Okay, um... I guess I was kind of just gonna... Maybe, oh, he lifted his foot up, so I better move to avoid getting stomped. Ew, more poisonous sludge. Ugh. Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Isn't that a jail cell? Someone's in there. I can't tell who she is. She's got her back turned. They usually turn out to be ugly when they turn around anyway. Plus, we don't want to attract any attention if she raises a fuss. Forget about her. Let's keep going. As soon who are you to say that, like, she's ugly without even seeing her? Huh? Hey, you know, just for that, go down there. In the sludge for me, please. Oh boy, another one of these wheels, I think. What's the secret to this one, I wonder? Anything in particular? It has a crack in it, but I don't know what that means. You know, this means I better use a bone. Hey, slow down. We 
We seem to knock it out. Good. And it's gone. Jeez, it's like an earthquake when we're soon sized and people walk by. Um, can you please just stand right there, sir? Please? Bomb time. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Um, hello, sir. Um, just stay right there, okay? Okay? Oh, 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 okay? Ouch. Um, ow, that hurt. It's a little roach that's been running around lately. No, wait. I think it's that dung beetle from the bathroom. Yuck. Grr, this guy's got a lot of nerve. Ow. Sputter. Guff. Don't treat us like dirt just because we don't like bats. I don't think we're going to get by this clean freak. E. No. Nope. Nope. How are you supposed to get by him then? What are you supposed to do? What? Take a bath or something? No. Ow. When I tell you, I don't think we're going to get by this clean freak. What are you trying to protect? Ouch. Would you stop stepping on us? Ugh. But, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, okay, come, let us get out of here then. Can't reach up there. Can I just draw a bomb up there and call it good? Yeah, that was a sloppy bomb. Okay, guys, just leave me alone. Crap, it came down with me. Why? Won't stay up there. We'll just freak them out if I bomb their broom. Yes, no, maybe. Nah. I was trying to make a water column here, it wasn't going. See, it like goes like that. Oh, stop, no! Don't step on me. It's like there's not enough water to make a column over there. And it just won't, it starts and just won't keep going.
No, nothing happens if I send soon at him. Do I distract them with the spidery thing? Nah. What can I do to them? Hmm. Okay. I'm not supposed to get past the feet. I'm supposed to, like, use the feet to my advantage. Come here. Bug obsessed guard. Come here. Come, come on. Hey, you over here. Come on. Over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Not quite enough. C can you lift your foot, sir? 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 Not quite enough. Um, sir? Can, can you move your foot over here a little bit, please? Ouch. I'm not trying to get by the Queen Freak as soon. Here we go. Bombs away. Because they keep hitting us with their like stomping us with their with their feet. I'm gonna use a bone again. Got this. Thanks for helping me get up here, sir. Ow. I'm not trying to. Okay, nope, nope. Stop cleaning me. Stop cleaning me. There's the spider. Hello? Is, is somebody there? Hmm? Are you mallet bearers? It's, it's hard to see from here. Mallet bearers? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, who are you? Oh, um, just a couple of passers-by. Are you that girl we heard crying before? Sound kind of fake if you ask me. You're not some no good monster trying to trick us, are ya? What? Oh. No, at least I don't think so. I came to Saiyan City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. But the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Your grandfather's bamboo ware? Is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. 
My name is Kakia. Moonlight Beauty Kakia. But I'm afraid that's about all I can tell you. I don't know I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am or where I originally came from. Another babe. How did Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Well, you, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isun's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. But I'll come back and set you free. No, I, um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. I'm gonna give that emperor a piece of my mind when we find him. So don't you worry your pretty little head. My partner may not look like much now, but Furball here is actually the great Amaterasu. Now just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Ami. So this is where his granddaughter's been all this time. Yeah, yeah, not yet, I guess. Guess there's a thing to put this in in here somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Oh, derp, it's right over here. Forgot about that. Bomb time? And into the hole we go. Oh boy, more spidery looking things. My favorite. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> Why did the Emperor hide his treasure here? It smelled a mile away. Check out that funny looking thing, Ami. That's what they call a platform spider. You see, they just go back and forth like that all day. They're basically harmless unless you stay on their backs too long. Some of them don't like it and may end up throwing you off. At least down here we don't have to worry about people stepping on us. I didn't mean to fall down here, but I'm down here now. Yep. There we go. Um. That's not somebody's foot. A flask? Is that considered treasure? Uh-oh. That's a blocking spider, Ami. I wonder why it got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. We're gonna have a heck of a time getting out of here. Uh-oh. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Oh, look. A lucky cat. Can we look up high enough? Yes, we can. 
Can we cut this? Yes. What are we doing here? Hey, I mean, there's a strange mist in this flask, too. It's somehow different from the mist outside. I know, it feels kind of comforting. Anything in here? Just whatever this fluid is inside the flask, is that it? Go back outside, Am you just gonna leave this mist in here? Uh, what exactly are we supposed to do with it? Um, is soon? Oh, derp. Wind power, maybe? Keep forgetting I can do that. Okay, wind. Can the wind blow this out of here? Yes. Wow. Getting good at that one. Almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here. But he shouldn't be hogging such comforting mist all to himself. Hey, it's that starlight again. What's it doing here? Oh, a constellation. Yay, another brush technique. Was hiding in a jar. That was a door for a minute for us. Because we're small. I, I... I put things where he wanted me to. What was I supposed to draw to? And just put stars. Did I not put them in quite the right place? Oh, oh, there's a fifth point that I didn't see. Okay, sorry. I'm supposed to draw four dots. Thank you. There we go. A sheep. Sheep knows karate. Ah, oh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After our separation, I took to wandering the corners of the earth. Before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, Kasugami, grant you. The power of mist. Glisten over all creation like fleeting dew. So that's why the Emperor hid this flask like it was treasure. Kasugami, the god of mist, was trapped inside. You say Kasugami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. I really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's an awesome power you just got back, Ami. The legend's true, that brush technique can slow down... Any monster with a single stroke, even a blocking spider. 
Let's try out that new power of yours right away, Amy. Just draw the mark that's there on the flask. I'll show that pesky spider who's boss. What the? Walking spider slowed down. It really is Kasagami's legendary time slowing technique. Well, Amy, you really pet quite an arsenal of techniques. Walking spider should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in her way, no matter how fast it is. To figure out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to trap Kasugami in there? It has everything to do with that swirling mist out there. Yeah, the ability to slow stuff down. Whoop. If I could slow down time. Since this doesn't turn it back. That helps quite a bit. I like that. Slows them down considerably. Um, spider, sir, would you mind? Hello? You're not up quite far enough for- well, maybe you are. There you go, never mind. Wow, the clover is huge when we're this size. Come back! Hey, no! Gotta try that one again. Gotta wait for it to come back. Nope. I guess I've gotta do more and wait for it to come back. Or just get on getting on it right away. Oh, I, I... It's not gonna be a monster that hurts us, but I bet slowing stuff down helps here, too.
Whoops. Can you please slow down? Oh. Enough so I can get on you, please. Okay, found all the clovers. Now what? I can't get past that. Can I cut it? No. Hey, I can slow down time on you guys now. Which only sort of helps, I guess.
This is new. Is this a timing thing? It is, isn't it? Nope, nope. And I'm dead. Really? Come on. There we go. over there, Ami. Is that the Emperor? I heard that he was sick in bed. They're expecting him to be the source of that funky mist. Now how are we going to straighten out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Let's take care of these things. I do not like these things. Especially when they've given me a pair of wheels to deal with at once. It's really mean. Because I keep dying or coming close to it. because I didn't want to deal with them. Oh. 
Slow down time. More time slow down. Ben is supposed to slow down the spiders. He's supposed to go over here? No. Whoops. How oh, helpful to finally get the map. Now. Whoa, what? Holy crap, these things are moving fast. What the hell? Jeez. Well, they go insane when you try to ride them. Ugh. Yuck. Tons of spiders here. Lovely. I think he needs pest control. Oh, wow. This is scary without the time slow downer. We aren't, are we? Check it out, Amy. Emperor's directly below us. 
It's like the Royal Elf's mouth is just baking us to dive on in. Is is this going to become like inner space without the little ship or something? I think it is. Duh. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Well, I mean, you're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down the back of the throat. If we tickle it, this royal would sneeze. It's probably our best bet for getting out of here. Let's save that for later. We're going the other way now. Um, this is way cooler and more fun, it, like, with the whole magic school bus thing, I must admit. But like this, I, I don't know, I'm not so sure. This is, this bears no resemblance to the magic school bus. I wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not going to turn back now, are you, Ami? No. Are oh, you chickening out? Fire hopeless. You sure this time? I was confused because asking me if I wanted to turn back. I'm like, no, I don't want to turn back. I'm going forward, aren't I? Good answer. Okay, you know the drill. Leap before you think. Mm, not really. Still don't think that's how the saying goes. Pretty sure it's look before you leap. Ugh, this is foggy in here. Why is there a sword in here? No way, this is insane. That missed. It's alive, Ami. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, Goldnail, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the indomitable Blight, may cut you down. Hehe. <laughs> I'll step forward, all right. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You uncultured wretch. Be warned. We're in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not... Give me a break. A little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my supreme blade, Dinkamaru, I, the magnificent Isun, shall... 
Rend that hunk of junk you call a sword. I'm guessing we use time stop against him. Wouldn't surprise we have to do wind at him too. Um, or you can come back anytime now. And we hit the sword. Before that, so we won't die, bone. No, don't go back to him yet.
It's annoying that it goes back to him after only a little bit, so I can't possibly hit it enough times before it goes back to do a significant amount of damage before this starts all over again. Trouble is I'm not sure exactly what I've done so far to make him progress to that stage where the sword goes into the ground. If I could figure that out, I could progress this more quickly. This game very much expects me to, like, get it somehow with visuals and, eh, I often just don't. There we go. I 
time to slash at all the swords. I wasn't catching that at all. Again, another visual cue that I was not understanding. Thank you, almighty Google, for the help. Otherwise, I just would have had no clue. Must have gotten them all. And you still got me, ugh. Okay, one more time of this. And then I should be done with him. Preferably before he's done with me. So helps to know how to do this. Imagine how long it would have taken me if I had no idea that it had to do with hitting all the swords at once. Is he okay now? You obtain Divine Instrument Exorcism Beads. Purifying Rosary that contains the power of holy light. Cool. Blight, a disease residing within the Emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was the source of the acrid mist that had plagued the capital's citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes Amaterasu and Isun. White's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Goldnail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness, the spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose. Then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose, as if to a rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey you, aren't you forgetting something? You had it coming big time, gas bag. You aren't even in the same league as the Magnificent Isun. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kagi is still locked up. Yeah, and we, we, we kind of 
gotta get out of the Emperor's body now, right? Annie, yeah, seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do ya? Watch and learn, my furry friend. Um, how are we supposed to control him? Exactly. First, I'll stir up his stomach like this, and then... What the? Yikes! What the? Hey, are you okay, Emmy? Looks like you managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oak moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. Rather awkwardly, I might add. Jeez. Your Highness, you're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was imprisoned just as you ordered, sire. She's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Or, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, your Highness. He's not suspicious when I when the Emperor's moving around like this. Hmm. Your Highness, I know you've already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Or, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me 100 dumplings? Huh? Heh, <laughs> just pulling your legs, sweetie. That voice! You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. We took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now let's make this royal oaf open your cell. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit chat, bamboo girl. We freed the emperor from that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now let's see here. Oh yeah. Coochie coochie coo. Yeah. We've gotta let him sneeze us out of there. There we go. Hehe. <laughs> I didn't tell what you wanna do, Amy. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give one of those victory howls to wake up the Emperor. Yay, now the awful fog is gone. Yeah, I would like to save. Hmm. I wonder what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. You were. Bah, talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wolf and a curious bouncing ball. An uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Himiko for my unforgivable blunders. Himiko? 
Yes, that's it, Yami. This city's a complete mess. Queen Himiko's not doing a thing about it. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. Why am I going to give her a piece of my mind? Ah, oh, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling as if you know me inside out. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Is it because um, I was kind of inside you for a bit? Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon fangs, you know. Do you have any for me? You can take some of my treasure. People will probably say I'm foolish giving treasure to a wolf. But you're my lucky wolf. I'm certain some good will come out of it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? What do you think? Would you like to make a swap? Some nice things here if I had more fangs to offer. Ooh, something that increases ink restoration speed. That would be nice. Yeah, not yet. Not now. Come and visit me again when you have more demon fangs to swap. Oh, rooster statue. Thank you. Good, everything's fine with you now. Hey, a bamboo girl. Why are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You can go anywhere you want. Oh, hello, you two. I really recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. You certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. You think so? Well, actually, I hear stuff like that all the time. Huh? Oh, yes, I met you too as soon. Anyway, the city is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. Never a fellow's got an eye for that treasure of yours, right? You should get away before others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know. Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. I'd really like to return, but... You're not his granddaughter? You mean your real family lives somewhere else? Oh, anyway. You should just go see him if you feel that way. I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. The bamboo cutter took me home, where I was lovingly cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past, but I do recall one faint memory. I thought long and hard while I was imprisoned. It was then that I remembered being in a small, dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. And... I feel I must get there as soon as I can. I can't escape that feeling. Hmm, that's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back to? Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. Together they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary. There it shall all become clear. We've been there. Huh? What's gotten into you? I mean, first with a dark room, and now you suddenly want to go to Sasa Sanctuary? I don't know where to where I must return, but I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination. It drives me to seek the Royal Crest. I must leave for Sasa Sanctuary at once. Okay. Hey, wait! Bamboo Girl, wait! Ah, oh, she's gone. I'm guessing this means we have to follow her over there.
Okay, we can make these nice now that the fog is gone. Happy trees. Because why not? Hey, Ed, what you up to here? Oh, you're just in time to witness history in the making. I finally realized how empty the life of a sword collector is. Now I'm hooked on the thrill of fishing. Will you not join me in my newfound passion? Hmm. Maybe. Hi, Robo. Hi, Ian. Welcome to Dog Day. I wonder what we gained by helping this guy fish now that we've cleared the fog from the city. Oh, why not? We'd afford to kill a little time. Let's psych yourselves up, Amy. Hope you're doing well, Robo and Ian. Probably can do better at fishing this time than other times I've tried. I think I hooked something. Okay, already going better. And I have caught a crab. Way to go! The more you fish, the more larger fish will come. Keep it up. Why not? That wasn't so bad. Yeah. Come on. And it's a lobster. Or crawfish. You're on a roll. Don't give up now. Why not? Here we go. Nope, missed. Goby. I've caught those in Animal Crossing. Okay, at least one more time before we move on with our official business. Okay, that was a lily pad. Not what I was looking for.
hand I missed. That's just another crawfish. No, not at the moment. Yeah, I bet we do. Gotta get back to business, I mean. This is more difficult than I thought. Have I already practiced? You'll never know if you can win. Fishing is far more thrilling than sword fighting. Wah! The city has officially been cleared of nasty fog that was making everybody sick when we first came in here. But now we need to go back to Sasa Sanctuary, a place we were in before, to continue our quest. That's to the palace. I don't need to go there again. Sweet. The curse zone vanished along with that funky mist. Looks like the city's come back to life. Amy, bet you never saw a happening place like this a hundred years ago. This must be exciting for you, being from the country and all. Now I know you just want to have fun, but don't go overboard. I mean, I don't want you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. That's one big brassiere. Must use it to light up the road at night. It's completely out now. Hello, dog. How are you doing? The city air is a hundred times better than it was before, eh? You feel right as rain again. It's like getting rid of a curse. There's still something bothering me. There's been a thief here in the city for a long time. It disappeared during all the fuss about that awful mist. Now that the city's back on its feet again, the no good lout has made his return. He works so quickly that no one has a hope of catching him. Lowlife's na name is Hayazo. How I know Hayazo's back in town if he's that fast? That's what you're wondering, right? Well, it's quite simple. I'm one of his victims. He stole my precious glass watch. I was here the other night and I noticed it was missing. I looked all over for it, but it was too late. Someone bumped into me. It was so fast it must have been him. My precious glass watch, that wretched Hayazo. We have a slowdown power now. I bet that could work. We can make these happy trees now that the mist is gone.
what? We're making the trees happy. Why are you questioning that? Out for a walk, doggy? The horrible heavy mist has completely vanished now. We're all feeling so much better physically and emotionally. Now I can finally pay a visit to Weapon Dealer again. It's long overdue, I can tell you. I wonder what's going on with the fairy. Not up to walking far, so I'd ride along the canal. The fairy doesn't seem to be showing up even though it's time. May need to figure out another way to get there. Raiden? Hey, am I right in thinking that you can actually see me? Yeah. Ah ha Of all the things. So the ghostly Raiden is finally spotted by a living being. And it turns out to be a cute little doggy. Lightning Ghost Raiden. Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, so, so I, I don't have any legs. But isn't that normal for a ghost Nippon? I was killed by a bolt of lightning, you know. Seems kind of obvious to me. It's great. I never get hungry, I never tire. It's fun all the way. There's just one problem. I realize that it's not always easy for ghosts. I mean, it can actually get a bit boring floating about every day. No one can see me, so it gets lonely at times. Still, it's great fun most of the time. I should be able to enjoy using my spooky powers. Okay, that's all you're gonna say. Dig hole. Treasure. Um, what have I been doing? I completely lost my memory since that curse zone appeared. But there's one thing I do remember. I was on my way to the carpenter's house. So I was waiting for the fairy to take me there. It's still not showing up even after all this time. I'm sick and tired of waiting. I don't care what I have to use. As long as it floats, I'd try anything to ride along. Oh, really? Anything? Would you go on a lily pad? A lily pad? Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Come on then, let's go. To the carpenter's house, full speed ahead! Okay. Away we go, sir. Maybe. You're not going anywhere. Well, sort of. It looked like it was going for a minute. There you go. Uh-oh. Is this a timed thing? Okay. Hold on, sir. Let's go.
Hey, would you like to ride the fi fairy too, lady? Such as it is. Just a minute, sir. Just a minute. Or actually, a little under two left here, but let me get back over there. Here we go, sir. Here we go. Which way do you want to go? This way? Right? Left? I think left. That blew me around, but not you. Why? Come on. Come on. Okay, back to where the guy is. Oh boy, and we're spinning around again. Hmm. Okay, now can we make him go the correct direction? Why is he not moving? Okay, I, I'm not close enough, I think. I mean, I just think would stop throwing me off of it. There. Yes, I know you're mad. I'm sorry. I know, you're running out of time. I'm very sorry. But I'm not good at this. I, I mean, I just started my, um, lily pad taxi service today. So, um, could you please give me a break, sir? I'm sorry. Um, at least it was free. So I don't have to issue you a refund? It doesn't start over when I don't do it enough time. Interesting. Lee's kind of in a tough spot here. Trapped here with me. Um. In the middle of the water. Can't exactly go back to where he was now, can he? So I bet he's stuck until I reach where I thought he wanted to go. Sorry, sir. Um, Wolf God Taxi Service um, has a few adjustments to make. Um, sir? Carpenter's right here, sir. Sir. Hello? Hello? H Hello? Um. The curse zone seems to have completely disappeared now. And there's water back in the canal all of a sudden. This must be the work of the gods. You just need the ferry up and running to give us rides. We're right on that ferry, you know, but it's still out of action. I go the East Street, but it's hard to figure out how. I just have to find something that floats. Anything will do. Oh boy, all these people want rides on lily pads, don't they? Um, sir, th this is the carpenter's place. Or at least I thought it was. Hello? I still haven't gotten over the excitement of our success. I can't seem to get back into regular work. You really are amazing when it comes to digging, Wolf. I mean, working with you like that has taught me something. It made me realize I have a kind of calling I hadn't known about. A sudden desire to pass my skills on to others. 
Yeah, you're the carpenter, all right. Wonder why this dude isn't getting off the lily pad. Um, hello? Hello? Um. What? what what's your problem? Uh, the carpenter's right up here. Come on. Come on. Hello? Will you not get off the lily pad if you're late? Is that the problem? Did I not line things up exactly right for you? Is that the problem? Come on. Gotta wait for the ink to refill. Sorry, sir. I don't know what I'm supposed to do when I run out of time and I swear I'm at the right place but they won't get off. Do I have to take him all the way back to the other spot and start over? Hmm. Weird. Because I think he'd still get off, he'd just be mad that I was late. What we really need to do is probably just get out of here for now. Stop playing with lily pads. And go... Back... To where... Our story continues. I wonder if that guy just is stranded there now on the lily pad out there where I left him, or if he just goes back to where he started, if I just abandon that now. I can just picture him floating around on that lily pad going, huh? What the hell? And still being there when I get back. Not right now, sorry. I'm gonna get back to the city checkpoint, get back to the previous area so we can go to Sasa Sanctuary again.
Okay, full time and damage. What is this? It'll just send me back up. Oops, I wasn't done exploring. Back in the hole. Ooh, a crystal. A bead. Molly's treasure trove. Might as well. Nice, lovely, peaceful scene. Deep in this hole. I think that's all that's in here. Going back up. Here's the sanctuary.
We save again. Hi, bird people. Question being, is she here? I don't see her here. She said she needed to get here, but where'd she go? We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. I want to thank you, too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Chirp. Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. I want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. You can rest at the inn down below. And the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Um, thanks, but you're supposed to guide somebody here? I thought she'd just be here if we went here. Nice to give us all this stuff. But where'd Kagiya go? I kind of just ran off. Why is she not here is the question. So obviously that's not the direction I was supposed to go. Anything in here? Not seeing anything or anyone yet. Oh, there are people over there. The gods be praised! Is it really you, Kaguya? I never thought I'd see you again after the Emperor suddenly summoned you to Saiyan City. Kaguya, dear Kaguya. Feels like ages since we last met, Grandfather. My, look at all those new wrinkles. Have I worried you so? Oh, Grandfather. Thought you guys would run into each other here. I'm happy for you two. Oh, Kaguya, let us live together happily ever after. And sell my bamboo wear, just you and me. Huh? Oh, um... Hmm? What's wrong, Kaguya? 
Do you have to return to the Emperor? No, that's not it. It's just... I can't live with you, Grandfather. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about, Kakia? You're not eloping or running away from something, are you? I, I didn't know you were here, Grandfather. It would have been better if we had not met before I departed. Depart? Where are you going? I I'm not sure. The royal crest carved into the earth here in Sasa Sanctuary. It calls to me. What the? Kaguya, what are you doing? It's as if I'm being driven by some invisible force. Below this crest, far below the earth. Something linked to my mysterious past awaits. I must go. I must see what lies within this hole. Kaguya. Kaguya! No, don't do it, Bamboo Girl. It's too dangerous. After her, Amy. Yeah, a lot of jumping into holes, huh? Hello? Are you up there somewhere? Come down here. That's it. There you go. No, no. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? No, stay. Just wait a minute. Digging away down. There we go. Wait a minute. Ow, we messed up. I didn't hit that. Okay, down this way. Down this way. I think. Where am I supposed to be leading you again? That's just treasure. That's water. Can I blow you upward? There's no point dropping you in the water. Come back over here. Here we go. I, nope, I can't blow you upward. I think I might have messed up. No, then there's just a water thing down here, too. Yeah, it's the way down here, but if I help you get down here. Just doing this to speed up the process of starting over. Yeah. No, they're making us start here.
she gets blown over into the hole. Down we go. Pull you this way. Wait a minute. We're just down here again. Can't make you go up, can I? Let's drop you in a hole of water that way. How are we supposed to get you through here? be trapped in a hole filled with water if I make you go through here. Why is that not working? See how to get myself over there. I don't see how to get you over here. This is very, very weird and complicated. Not seeing the path clearly to getting her over where she needs to be. Now I have to keep trying until I figure it out. And I don't understand the right path to get her in there. It's like I have to get her to climb or something, but I don't think I can. There's got to be something I can do. It's just not really clear to me, as many things aren't in this game. Maybe I'm making her go the wrong making things go the wrong direction. I think it was me trying to go this way instead of all the way over here. Oh, come, come here. Come down here. Here we go. Down here, a little bit further. Stop trying to go there. I 
No, I wanted to bloom this. Game, I wanted to bloom this. I don't want wind. Thank you. No, don't try don't try to do that. No, please, could you please stop going that direction? No, you're you're gonna lose me time. Stop it. Thank you. No, that goes in the water. Oh, never mind. Don't don't follow me down here, please. Oh, you did. Crap. I think that was a juncture where you're supposed to go a different direction. I wish I could dig faster. There we go. I hell not you to stop wandering over to the spikes. Stop, you're losing me time. Okay, there we go. Go this way instead of down this time. Get more time. Wish you could see what's down beneath me. No, that's a uh, that's the water hole again. She's going to fall down in here with me.
Can you get in the water spout too, dog? Come on. Hello? That helped her get up, but not, why not me? Come on. Come on. Get in the water spout too. Ugh. Can you tell I'm just angrily mashing my buttons now? Ugh. Uh, this is so frustrating. Why aren't you getting in your water spout? Start over. Wait for her to come down. Keep digging. Uh, not fast enough for her not to take time away. I kind of like to get through this part today before I end my stream. Can I jump in the water while in the digging game? I just did and I couldn't get back out. So I think the answer is a no. Going another square over doesn't help anything. Still the same otherwise down here. Is this any better going down here? Oh, I bet I know. Leave this blocked off. Wait for her to come down here with me. Can she? Hello? Kaguya, where'd you go? Hello? Oh, she can't. Derp. No, no, I wasn't supposed to blow you on that onto that stuff. Over it. Come on. Jeez, I forgot to like wait for her to come with me. It was that frustrated. Hmm. I'm gonna run out of time. Okay. Can I blow you over the gap? Yes, I can. Awesome. Just you wait. Here we go. Okay, so that's the trick. Don't go all the way down to the water. Okay, ran out of time, but it's okay. I see how I can do this now. Could you move any faster? Yes. Sort of. Hold on. I 
it takes so long for the ink to refill. No. No, stop that. Come down here with me. Okay, did I go down here? I wish I could remember. Oh yes, I went down. No, stop hitting that. You're losing us time. Okay. Wait a minute. There we go. Good job. Around the water hole. And to another one. Crud. How do I get you through this? Why is it not working? Sorry. Why can't I... Why can't I go with it? Lady, go. Yes, I know I'm running out of time and I hate that. No, nope, you're go- no. Going the wrong way. I'm, I'm sorry. No! It's like that- it's like that's the way, but I say I gotta get her up and go up with her, but it's not letting me go with her, and I don't understand why. It's my own damn water spout. Why won't it work for me? Currently consulting Almighty Google to find some kind of picture or video of how I'm really supposed to do this. Okay, was he I was on the right path there. Okay. Amata Ross, who is not supposed to be in the water, I'm supposed to get up, make sure she gets in the water, but then not use the water myself to get up there. Okay. And so water does not work for me. Only for her. 
trying again. I was trying to save time, but then I ended up losing it by knocking her into the spikes. So many hazards in here. Why, where are you going that way? Stop. Nope. No. No, come back here. Blow you over here. Rain the spiny rocks is evil. Absolutely. I agree with this statement. Who needs those down here? Seriously. What do they do for us? Absolutely nothing. Uh, no. Okay. Hey, sit. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Can, can I not... Really? I can't see it from... Oh, come on. Come down here with me. Come down here with me. Come on. Thank God. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. What? No. I'm vibrating with anger. This water pit is evil. I hate it. I hate it. No, I just inked her. I didn't. I was just trying to hurry her up. She walks slowly enough, doesn't she? For this, she has no sense of urgency. No, no. Oh, 
why of all times did my thing have to run out? Well, yeah, I think if you power slash her, it turns her around, but I can't power slash worth a damn when I'm out of ink. I mean, I wish I could. Why does it take so long to refill? She's gonna lose us more time. It's just to give us more time without me power slashing at her without being able to without ink. So I can get down here. Am I even going the right way anymore? Did I get all flustered and forget where I'm supposed to go? I'm voting option B. Ouch. No, no, it's okay. I'm fine. This is where we're supposed to be. Get over the gap, lady. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You still have time. It's okay. Her right actually cut right. Come on, you can stand to hurry up a little bit. Nope. Or this way, please, ma'am. Ink, hurry up. I don't want to have to do this again. No, come with me. Come with me. Come with me! Or don't be that way, stubborn lady. Stay. I know you don't understand what I'm doing right here, but... Come on- No, we're running out of time again! Why must you be like this? Thank you. Ugh, why must we cut it so close? We're not going to make it, are we? No, there's not enough time. Ugh. I hate this thing. I hate it. She walks too slow. Sometimes she walks too fast. Walks into stuff that cuts us down on time. These spiky rocks are everywhere. I didn't think Okami was a rage game. But it is. Ugh. And this time I have to start over just because I was getting so impatient that I was going, screw it, I'm going on without you, lady. Which won't work. If it did, I would have gotten this by now. No. Why do you go that way? You're wasting so much time. Come on. I sure hope that after this there will be no more of these stupid digging games. Why is the ink... Why do I have so little ink and why does it take so long for it to refill? Can I get more ink? Like, are there upgrades I can get? I figure there must be, but I probably missed them. And that's probably what's making this so hard.
The game isn't exactly forthcoming with how to do this or where to go to get more or have more angst, so that's probably why I have no idea. And only have three ink pots at a time. Unless you go toward the spiky rock. Dig. Super fast. Come on. No, I didn't mean to knock you into the spike rock. No, no, stop. No! Uh, how, how stupid are you? If I were you, I wouldn't walk toward a spiky rock. Probably wouldn't walk toward water either, but oh well. No! Stop going the other way! Come on, hurry! Hurry! Okay, run! Run, lady, run! Run! Why you move so slow? Come on, please! Hurry up! Thank you! What? No! I hate this. I hate this! But I hate stopping here before I've gotten it. Yeah. But this is infuriating with only this many, um, ink pots. I care not what dangers lie ahead. Sing like to my mysterious past awaits. I must go. Must see what lies within this hole. No, you must not. I've seen this hole. It's awful hole. Why must you go down there? No. And I can't activate the infinity stone while in the diggy hole game. I wish. Oh, derp. Ugh, how about I inject it with all this praise I've racked up? That'll make it better, right? It'll probably be better now. For some reason, I didn't understand that or even think about it. I suppose I can use all this praise I've racked up for this, too, to make this bigger. Well, I'm at it. There. Now we have tons of ink. Yes. I feel stupid, even if I shouldn't. Yes, yes. Now we have way more ink that should go better.
Probably lost a lot of time by not stopping her before now. Yeah, don't like how the how I said the game would be about two so that juggles things. Yeah, it doesn't exactly go oh, hello if you want more ink, do this. You know, if maybe it thinks it should be obvious, but apparently to me it wasn't. Can't really even think about it. This kept going along with only three ink pots. Why did no? Why do I keep hitting the spikes even when I get her to not hit them? Come on. Oh wait, derp! I have to help you over these two, don't I? Of course, now I'm totally forgetting about her now that I'm going, hey, I have enough ink! Yay, I have enough ink! Oh, I still have to get her to the bottom, don't I? Damn it. Yes. let her die in the hole. I don't know. Sometimes as frustrated as I'm getting here I think, you know, fine. <laughs> but I figure the only way to get through here finally is to help her get through here. As frustrating as that is. Because she moves so slowly in addition to being dumb about going on to spiky rocks and going the wrong direction. Okay, wait for it. Nope. Stop that. Go the other way. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta wait. It's the hardest part, is having to wait for her. No, stop going the wrong way, lady. Time is of the essence and you're so slow. C come here, come on, hurry. Hurry, come on. Nope, not enough time, I don't think. Because you waste so much time. Nope. You know, I bet Kagi would be hell to do speedruns with, wouldn't she? No! Stop trying to hit the spiky rocks. Please. You're just gonna get hurt. And lose us time. I say, and then I lose us time hitting the spiky rock myself. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait!
Now, don't wait. Um, could you please go a little bit faster now? Hello, oh, no! I meant to... No! Crap. And speed her up by drawing a circle around her? Yeah, I thought so, but... Ugh, now she's in the hole. How am I supposed to get her out of the hole? I'm this close to not caring if she gets down there at all. Only reason I'm still doing this is because... I have to. Or else the story won't progress. That's the problem. There's too much I need to remember to do. There, now she's down here already. I don't have to wait a million years for her to get down here to me. There we go. Successfully avoid her running into the rock. No, wait! It takes so long to give me enough to keep going. That she hits the rocks and loses me time while I'm waiting for it to fill enough for me to use it again. No. No! Why must you do that? You and your stupid hole. Why must you be obsessed with this hole? It's kind of a crappy hole. dare go the wrong way. No! Stop it! Yes, go this way, go this way, go this way. Come on, come with me. Hurry. We can do it, come on. Come with me. Come on, why are you just flailing about? Come on. Get in the water! Ugh, here we are again. It's not a pleasure. Because you wouldn't do what I just wanted you to do. I can't even think of any interesting words to sing. Because I'm that done with you. I'm Sisyphus going up the hill. I swear. You know, this is bad enough without a timer, but with a timer, this is awful. Just 
I could dig faster. She just goes aimlessly, mindlessly forward into spikes. Maybe she's so freaking slow in regard to while well, I'm waiting, digging a hole. It's Madarasu who's kind of slow digging holes, too. How did that hurt her? Did, did I get hurt? Oh, stop it, lady. Come on. there. Way is clear so she can't possibly- no, I, I hit it instead. Lovely. Come on. No! We have time now. We have time now. If only we can get down here. Come on. Yes, yes. A minute should suffice for you to get back to where you have to do your hole. Come on. Come on. Yes, finally. Finally. The end is in sight. Only took me a million tries. Yeah, finally. Finally. Confetti. I should have confetti. After finally doing that. More than confetti, actually. This better be good. B bamboo girl? What the heck? Looks like a bamboo shoot, except it's metal and insanely huge. This... This is what was calling me. It's a link to my mysterious past. Kaguya? I knew. I knew this giant bamboo shoot was buried here in Sasa Sanctuary. You did? But one day, many years ago, I came here to cut down some bamboo. Suddenly, this giant bamboo shoot appeared right before my eyes. Your cold and nearly lifeless body came tumbling out. Then, this giant bamboo shoot disappeared back into the ground. You were as cold as ice and looked like you might die at any minute. I quickly picked you up and rushed home. My dearly departed wife and I nursed you back to hell. We'd always wanted a child. You were like a blessing from the heavens. You brought joy into our lives. I couldn't tell you the truth. I feared that if you found out, you would seek out this strange bamboo shoot. I feared that it would take you away from us forever. Don't go. Don't go, Kaguya. Grandfather. I always thought of you and dearly departed grandmother as my real family. That feeling shall never fade. Though I may leave, my heart remains with you. Remember that. But I cannot stay here with you. A mysterious force is calling me. I, I cannot resist. I must discover where I came from. Don't worry. 
and will come back to you. I just need to know. So I beg you, oh grandfather dear. See me off with a smile on your face. Okay, I will, Kaguya. Go wherever you may. I only ask that when you get there, you remember one thing. You are my precious grandchild. Never forget that. You are my dearest, most precious grandchild. Oh, grandfather. His precious grandchild. Huh? I wasn't thinking about home or anything. No, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy she's going to space to never make us dig holes again. You and me both! You know, this is a very touching, um, family reunion here, but, um, yeah. If I never see her face again, I won't mind. Not after that hole from hell. Isun Amaterasu? I'm forever grateful to you. I can never thank you enough for what you did for me. No, you can not. But please, accept this as a token of my appreciation. You obtained Fire Tablet. I, I did all that and... What? Y you just gave me a an ancient... Um, iPad? Is that what this is? Hmm? It's my sole link to my mysterious past. But now I'm returning home, I shall need it no longer. May it help you in your travels. It is time. Time for me to depart. Good. Thank you, you two. Thank you, Grandfather. Farewell, and may we meet again someday. Only if you don't want us to help you dig in a really nasty hole, okay? Only then. That's seriously a rocket ship? Wow. Didn't expect to see a rocket ship in this game. Well, it's gone. I wonder where it's headed. I know that bamboo girl has a safe journey wherever it leads. I hope she never runs into any places where she falls into holes like that because you know without us I'm sure she would have died in there hey Emmy get the get the lead out we got side get the lead out I'm not sure if they mean lead or lead here we got sidetracked helping that bamboo girl Let's get going. We have work to do. We gotta rake that queen over the coals. She's got some explaining to do. Yeah, explaining. I need an explanation for this stupid hole that I had to dig into a million times before I got it. Guess Link isn't the only one with the magic iPad and Link to the Past? Apparently not. And now we have the tablet. It better be awesome. It better do an awful lot of cool stuff. After what I went through with that hole. That's all I can say. Yeah, time to save. Time to save.
just want to find a spot to save now. Might as well get more praise to actually use on things like ink. There's got to be a safe spot somewhere around here. not telling me where safe spots are. Such a relief to finally get past the hole. Took me quite some time, but I finally did it. Hopefully I won't have to do that again in this game. Yes, a save point. Yes, we're saving after that. I do not want to have to do that hole ever again. I think after all of that, Imata Rasu deserves a break. Definitely. Since I'm finally done with that, well... It's time I will end my stream. Thank you, everyone who's been here today. I've appreciated it very much. Next up for me this week is some Super Mario Brothers Wonder on Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And... I will look to see if there's anybody to raid. Seems like there is. Oh, look. Looks like Silhouette is streaming. Why not send us over there? So... So, I think that's where we shall go. Here we go. Thank you for being here again. Goodbye. See you later. We're raiding.